Hi guys, today I want to show you how to create a connection with the, uh, the online Dynamics 365 CRM system uh, within the SSIS project using the, the uh, uh, Kingsway soft. So firstly, we need to create this solution, the SSI solution with the project firstly, uh, then we just right click on the connection manager section, choose new connection. Then we choose dynamic CRM. Click add. Then it will pop up this uh, window. Uh, we need to choose the first one: Web API Dynamic 365 CE Dataverse CRM uh, 2016 online or on purpose. The first one. Then the second parameter we just choose. Yeah, the uh, the OS. And the third one. Well, sorry, is the font is a little smaller due to the setting. I don't know where I can set, set it up, but yeah, just just use it. Uh, the third OS type, we just choose the second one. It's client credentials. Then the next, we need to set up the client app ID, client secret, and the server URL. Okay, the next, we need to go to the, uh, uh, we need to create this uh, app and get its ID and secret. So we need to go to the portal.error.com. Okay, so we just click this one, the manage error active directory. Here we'll open the error active directory page. So we need to go to the uh, app registration page, then click new registration. We need to create a new application here. We give it give it a name like SSIS uh, application. Then we just keep the default setting. And uh, but here the redirect UI, we just choose web. Then uh, we just copy the environment, uh, the first part, the URL, and paste it here. Then register. Okay, uh, so for now we have created the application already. So we just click here to look at it. Uh, just refresh. And you can see this is our newly created, uh, oh no, sorry, this one, newly created application. We just click it. Then we need, the next we need to create it, the API permission. So click here. Then create a uh, click here, uh, add a new permission here. We just choose the dynamic CRM. So here uh, we need to choose, we need to click here, we need to choose uh, the permission, uh, then click add permissions. Okay, perfect. The next we need uh, uh, create a, uh, this app secret. So here we just click in the navigation pane, we just click uh, certificates and secrets and click new client secret. So here we just give it a, a name, a description like SSIS app uh, secret. The expire, we just keep the default the six month. Okay, then, well, I think this uh, the, the app part has been done. Um, so next we need to go to the uh, admin.dynamics.com. So go to the Dynamics uh, admin portal. So go to the environment page. We just choose, just click the environment we are working on and go to the setting and choose the user uh, permission go to the application user so next we need to click add uh, an app so here we just choose the unit here click an app the app is ssis application so click add and security rule or we can just choose uh, the system uh, administrator save create
Okay, it's done. The, the, the final step is we just go back to the uh, uh, SSIS project. Then just, okay, uh, uh, for, uh, firstly, we need to get the app ID. Uh, okay, we go back here, uh, go to the uh, uh, application. This is the, uh, the application. Uh, you can see the application ID here. You can click here, then go back here and paste and the client secret client secret okay we just go back to the uh, certificates and secret here we just copy the value click here uh, it will be copy this value and go back paste then this is server url okay we just copy uh, the URL and paste then select organization so redirect ID paste again the URL uh, yeah just retrieve oh no we just maybe we can uh, I just use I just check this one use SDK app external then retrieve then I just uh, input my uh, username First at hello smart I'll say then input my password and authenticate authenticate just one second open my app approve okay uh, so we just choose the environment here uh, then click yes then we just click text connection okay you can see it says uh, test connection succeed succeeded yeah okay that's all um so my uh, uh operations just for your reference so if any questions you, you may leave a comment here i'll leave a comment below uh, so yeah thank you bye